Good morning, everyone. Pastor Ralph here for your daily five-minute encouragement. Life isn't always what we expect, is it? No one expected that we would be where we are right now. In fact, I was looking at my calendars that I started at the beginning of January, and in my calendar, I had written down all of the things that we would be doing for this holy week. I had plans for Good Friday. I had uh, service ideas for Easter Sunday and the great celebration that I had anticipated that I would be able to do. It was a wonderful, wonderful thought. So I thought. But at the end of the day, what life has really shown us is that for all of our great plans, it's God that gives direction, doesn't he? And in spite of what life throws at us, we know who the one who is leading and in control. And even when we don't understand and asking the questions why, which what the disciples were asking that night, they were with Jesus in the upper room. And there as they broke bread together and they shared fellowship together, I'm sure they were reminiscing about the good old days and talking about all the people that they had seen heal, talking about the crowds that were fed with the loaves and fishes. I'm sure they were all high-fiving one another, or maybe they were fist-bumping or elbow-hitting or, you know, practicing the proper social uh, distancing back then. But then Jesus lays something on them that they did not expect. He shares with them that, in just a short time, he was going to be betrayed by one of them. Then he would be arrested and crucified, but then rise from the dead. It's interesting that as Jesus is telling them, they don't hear anything about his resurrection. The only words resonating in their minds are, one of us is going to betray you, Lord. Jesus is not affected by them, that he just continues on and shares with them some wonderful words of encouragement that I want to want us to read this morning as we uh, continue Holy Week. And in chapter 14, after he's given all of this information, and they're sitting there, their heads just going, Jesus, what are you talking about? What are you doing? He gives them these words of encouragement. Let me read them from John chapter 14. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, I would have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. No, we don't, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would have known who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, Have I not been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me or at least believe because of the work you've seen me do. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name, and I will do it, so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Powerful pro beautiful, encouraging promise from our Lord. And let that be your word of encouragement. I know most of us are praying, God, get rid of COVID. But so far, it's here. But what we can pray is, God, show me your plan and will through this.
Who can I call? Who can I touch? Who can I bless? Lord, show me how I can be a blessing to others so that the Father is glorified. God bless and have a great day.